formation then that we'll be watching. Fontoy Ahmad and Liliana Natsir up next here on court one against the Russians, Kalyev and Volotova from Russia in the mixed doubles. Second round action from the top of the second quarter of the draw, just awaiting our players. That's the section they're in. Third seeds on display next. It's going to be a real treat to watch them play. Just awaiting our players. I'll tell you more in a minute. They are then the third seeds in the mixed doubles, the world ranked third pair. Tomtawi Ahmad led out as well by Liliana Natsil. What a legend she is of the game. 29 years of age. She is, has already three mixed doubles titles to her name at world championship level. How about that? Only two players have ever matched that. Park Yubon and herself, Liliana Natsil. Three mixed doubles titles. Remarkable for the 29-year-old. Listen to the reception. Tontoi Ahmed alongside. 28 years old, currently ranked three. Both of them, they've been as high, this team in red, as second in the world, this time last year. We will receive inside, inside. Played 11 tournaments together. They were champions in the Asian Games. And mixed doubles champions in 2013 in Guangzhou as well. They're up against the Russian duo of Radion Kalgiev. There he is, and Ekaterina Bolotova, ranked 62 in the world. Now, on paper, it should be fairly academic but who knows there's a lot of shoulds in pro sport rarely does it work out this way but it's a real treat to see the uh, third seeds in action here on show court one today second day of play in this 2015 bwf world championships from the Astora stadium the iconic venue in jakarta you're in the company of jesper larsen and paul hand there we are, Liliana Natsir. They've played 11 tournaments together, these two. They've won two tournaments, French Open and the Asian Champs. Runner-up twice as well in the Denmark Open, the All England Open. Five semi-finals together as well, Indonesian Open, Australian Open, Singapore Open, Malaysian Open, Swiss Open. And uh, Liliana previously played with Nova Widianto. And they made a silver medal at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Looking at uh, the Russians, Ekaterina Bolotova, ranked 62nd in the world. Well, they played 12 tournaments together, the Russians. They had six first round losses. A couple of semi-finals though in the Italian International last year and White Knights and Petersburg, Russia this year. Three quarterfinals as well, the Indian International 2014, Finland International as well on the same year. Also the uh, Polish Open this year. So they're on the up, 
They've been as high as 50 in the world, the Russians. But currently Ready standing at uh, 62. Just confirmation of our umpire. And our scorer. Susan Taylor from France. They all wear the uh, traditional Indonesian scarves around their waist, which I think is a really nice mark of respect. It's a country rich in culture and diversity and uh, made up of hundreds of islands, of course, the archipelago that Jakarta is. But the Indonesian people, very, very friendly. Whenever you walk around, they can't really do enough for you. They're a lovely, welcoming bunch. And the fans, well, they understand their badminton and love it. They really do cherish these kind of occasions. Just to host the World Championships is a real treat. And you can tell the level of support has been phenomenal. The crowd still probably no more than quarter full, this stadium. This 10,000-seater, but uh, when it is in the sort of business end of this kind of event, I'm told it's just an overwhelming atmosphere, yes, but you've played here. How was it? Ah, that is incredible. Uh, that is definitely the most noisy place you can play badminton, uh, this one, and, and it's great fun playing in here. Um, it's difficult when you, for example, play on a court uh, next to Indonesians because... Uh, that's where they really get noises when the, the Indonesians are playing, and Ladies you can and also hear that now. On my right, so it's going to be Liliana Ekaterina Bolotova. And, and on my left, Satuani the legends Hawad. to begin. Liliana Natsir. Yeah, as you mentioned, um, to it's Gagel. always difficult Global. making Play. results uh, on beforehand. But I think the Indonesians are huge favourites here. Service over. One love. But it's also difficult for the Russians. They were playing uh, on the court just uh, next to this one, court number two, yesterday. And uh, funny as it is in here, uh, the, dr the drift is different in there. So Three, the drift is one. turning the other way. And uh, that's quite difficult uh, when you then get into court number one where you have it just uh, opposite. So in keeping with their status one. and being highly decorated as they are, the red team off to a flyer as we anticipated, imposing themselves already. and as well he may be he's in a tough situation out here there's no place to hide is there in this venue the crowd are kind of in your face it's quite an intimate setting yeah you're right and and uh, there is just a difference between number 62 and number three in the world uh, in the mixed doubles and uh, he also knows that so uh, of course he would like to do well did you see the deception there from the most experienced player on court, Natsir there with a beautiful off drop shot on the backhand side. I didn't see it and the Russians didn't either. <laughs> Oh, just 
just quick to climb all over any sort of response. They seemed almost some hang time in the air there, didn't they? That's here. Uh, she just one. knew that one would come. Uh, and nice anticipation, anticipation by uh, Natsia. It's like a wall, a sea of red in front of you. <laughs> Playing against them, I'd imagine. Oh, nice try from the uh, Kargiev, who really, really hasn't been able to sort of impose Nine, himself yet. They've simply one. not been allowed. They've been stifled. Yeah, the thing is, in mixed doubles, you need your, your, your girl to uh, take the net and get the lifts, and uh, that's, just, that's just not happening with Natsi out there, because uh, she's just taking charge, and uh, the Russians end, end up lifting every time. They've a point on the scoreboard anyhow, the Russians, but they'll be desperate to build from here. 11, can't seem to get any sort of momentum, though. Against the Indonesian third seeds, who have really hit the floor running out here. Fantastic display from the off. Merciless, really got a stranglehold over this game already. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's just uh, difficult knowing what to do when you from the Russian side. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Coach, thank you. So Liliana Natsir, the lady with three mixed doubles medals in this and World Championship one, event. The 29-year-old out first, 11, ready one, to continue play. their assault on the white team. And that's just pressure. 12, 1. Very nice from Volatova. Perhaps that will ignite her. Two. Now that was 12. a little lucky, though. Uh, so I think uh, she was. That wasn't meant to uh, be that tight. I think. Yes, but you're going to hate me Three. for this. But I'm going to ask it anyway. As a coach, what would you try to do if you're a white-shirted Russian right now? And I'll give you a few minutes to come up with a response because I think it's a tough question. Yeah, I think uh, it is very tough, but uh, I think you, you might want to set up some goals that is uh, so not, uh, depending on whether to win or not, but 13, maybe just three. getting some points, uh, maybe going for eight points or ten points or something like that, and, and also maybe some uh, tactical goals, uh, saying you want to try to play this corner more or that 14, corner more. Three. Again, that's it, just covering 15, the net. 15, three. Killing it. The Russians just get under so much pressure after each serve that they end up lifting and then uh, it's, it's, the defense is not strong enough uh, 17, holding up against the three. Indonesians. Deceptive beaten on that occasion. She seems to have so many options, this lady. Such time on the shuffle. Four, she 17. seems never rushed, Jesper. No, that's definitely true, and, and uh, you can understand why she's maybe not rushed here, but even if she's playing the final of the World Championship, she still looks so relaxed, and especially her defense is just incredible. Very nice. 
Gassman, Kalkiev, he'll be delighted with that one. Good skills. 570. This is actually what the, what the good pairings are doing to uh, Natsia and Ahmed when they're playing them is that they Next are round. trying to lift Natsia towards Play. the back. They're trying to serve long, keeping her in the back and moving her around because uh, that's the way to beat them. But uh, if they end up standing with Natsia close to the net and Ahmed behind, then you're just done. Yeah, she's very imposing from the front court, isn't she? Service over. Absolutely apparent. Service over. You would Six, imagine, though, if 18. these two had play a few clears, it would be probably from this end, frankly, the Russians. No, that's it's true. not an option the other end, is it? We know that. That's what they need. Little luck. Seven, Smile from 18. Bolotova. She was delighted. Hand up, gesturing apology, but you know she'd do it again if they could. Oh, that's a lovely combination. What a wonderful 18. set play that was. As you said, getting that here slightly off balance with the flick serve. That is what you need to do. Well, given the quality of the opponents, I think Nine, the Russians are starting 18. to really ignite and uh, put together a few decent points here. All credit to them, because they've been under a lot of pressure from the off. Sparkling start from the red-shirted Indonesian duo, seeded third. Yeah, some really good serves from Kageev here. Yeah. But here you see the defense of Natsia. She's so good. Best rally of the match so far, and it was won by the Russians. Bolotova taking a tumble there. Just wants the court to wipe the sweat after the fall. She out, just in. She's okay better. there. I'm feeling even better at the prospect of having won that point as well. You'd take a grazed elbow for winning the point at this level. They're doing very, very well. To get 10 points on the board was probably, as you said so nicely, one of their Thank sort you. of pre-match goals. I Ready think that was play? a great idea of yours, and you'll Ready come to back to my difficult question of chunkable goals, something that's small and achievable and just generates a little bit of success from the off. To get to 10 against these two is really going some. Yeah, and I think uh, one of the other things, uh, as I mentioned, uh, tactical goals, and one of those goals could be serving long to Nazi, trying Play. to lift at her, and then getting the attack afterwards. Oh, man, quick to pounce on over. that uh, serve. I read it like a book. 19-10. And that serve was a little high, but he's, he's, he's serving up and down because some of his serves are very, very good and others are not that good, and uh, it got killed there. Well left, a lot of composure Service there over. from Kargayev. 
Russians are putting themselves very, very well in this tough arena. Indonesian fans behind the third seeds. Confirmation of the score then, after just 12 minutes, the third seeds in a comfortable position. Court one twenty seconds, court one twenty seconds. Well, they've had a stranglehold from the off, have the third seeded duo of Natsir and Ahmed. Lilian and Natsir, of course, decorated with three mixed doubles world championships titles already. Mm -hmm. Vying for a fourth this year with a partner. Well, yeah. Tontawi Ahmed. Second Ahmad, game. I should say. Level. They're a game up. And Play. Lilian and Atiel is serving at the start of the second game. Oh, that's a great turnaround from the Russians. Service over. Agile in defense. One love. Well, it's over. Just breaking a string in the meantime. Fabulous finish. Teams vying for a spot in the third round. Still got quite a lot of first round matches to come. Tell oh. Ahmed, quick to pick so off the fruits from the Natsir smash. One. Yeah, it's difficult uh, to do anything about that smash, but uh, the idea is that if you get her towards the back, then you should try and block the next one so you get a lift. Uh, but it's uh, much easier said than done. And as if this excitement two, wasn't enough, we're only one. on day two of seven days of continuous coverage here. We'll be bringing Lee Chong Wei later. Jano Jorgensen, Carolina Marin. They'll all be playing singles on this court. Do stay with us. 14 matches. Camera, camera. Camera. To enjoy. Yes. We're only on match yes. five it's of okay the now. day. We'll be bringing you Lee Chong Wei next. The Malaysian iconic superstar. Oh, a rare service, over. service fault then. Two. Oh. Ahmad. shot from the Indonesians almost playing the shot for them that's just terrific must be so good to play in here as a player oh. well you don't
don't see many of those close net errors off. from Nazia. Normally in complete control, masterful around the net she is. Has so much time. Service over. Four, three. Russians have never medaled in this event. Indonesians have 67 medals between them over the years since the tournament's inception. 1977 in Malmo it was. Uh, remember in Scotland you next year, this tournament. Before that. Four, three. Play. defense uh, and uh, that's also another funny thing about playing these Indonesians uh, normally you would always uh, go for the girl on the attack uh, and you would even go cross-court to hit her but uh, in, in this case you actually go cross-court to hit the uh, hit the boy Amartin in uh, in this uh, constellation because Natsia is just her defense is just so good nice return from Carl so it's over pouncing on it very quickly four six This tournament boasting the cream of elite international badminton players. Two of them on the court right here. Play. Amada Matsil. Communication error between over. the Russian duo there. Not surprised. Seven, Such a sort of hullabaloo of noise. Four. It's hard to uh, focus down and particularly hear each other. Also, a smart smash putting it uh, in between them so uh, they don't really know who's going for it. Yeah, always seems to cause a little confusion that, doesn't it? Camera. Okay. Okay. unlucky there with the tape but uh, it's the right thing to do she needs to get up there if, if, uh, if they're gonna stand a chance uh, she needs to be up there and uh, get the net and so they can get the attack oh, the smash just spilling long it's good work from the Russian team Nine, four. consolidate the point though so difficult uh, getting it to the floor against the Indonesians in the world these two have put up a sterling fight out here it's a game and six points adrift though yeah they're definitely trying their best it's not like they just give up uh, some of the rallies they just get under too much pressure and uh, they really can't uh, handle it
So at the interval then, the Indonesians are going to the good and 11-4 up. With a bit of a stranglehold over this one now, you feel. Vying for a berth in round three. Where probably Lee and Chow await from Hong Kong should they beat the Malaysians. Court one, Chan 20 and seconds. Go. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coach. Coaches, thank you. Ready to play. Towels, please. Thank you. Eleven, four, play. Oh, nice shot by the Russian team. Service over. Five, eleven. Trying to Five. lift that net here and uh, trying to put her on the baseline, but uh, they just uh, they need to block the next shot if uh, if they're going to get out of this attack. Done. Service over. Six thirteen. Seven. Just trying to be a little too cute with that drop. And that's here there. Eight points away from round three. Oh, they found the back line. Beautiful shot from Ahmad. Service over. 14-7. Service over. 8-14. Well, one of Natsia's skills, I think mentally, she just stays so calm and composed and nonplussed. Just a little bit of disbelief about missing that one as well. A stare at the shuttle. As Service ball goal. Service over. Can't be me. I normally make those every time. 15-8. Service over. It's a good receiver Nine, of the serve 16. and a nice kill. Out. Service over. 17-9. Yeah, when you flick from the side where uh, he's standing now, he should be flicking towards the sideline because else uh, the drift will take it and carry it out as it did. There is over. Nice comeback here. 17.
11-17. Well, already the Russians have matched their score from the first game. Can they build from here? If you look at them, they also uh, seem uh, quite confident and, and, uh, and happy about the result. Uh, I think the beginning of the match uh, got a little scared that they were going to really get a beating. Uh, but they've done well, and uh, I think uh, they'll be 19, pretty happy about uh, 11. getting 11 or 13 points in the second two. Yes, I remember the look of fear on Karpiev's face early in that opening game he wondered what he walked into certainly a wall of noise and also the red shirted duo playing particularly well here they are then with nine match points for round three in their quest for another gold medal for Liliana Nassir and Kotiri Ahmad performance from the Russian duo but simply not enough the superior skills of the third seeds carry them through to the delight of the home crowd one by Kondui Ahmad Liliana Natsir, 21, 11, 21 11 to her oh, army right. of loyal supporters she's won three gold medals is vying for a fourth she's on course she's into round three already with her partner here in the mixed doubles but it was a good match to watch, very watchable. 21-11, 21-11. It's confirmation of the result then. In exactly half an hour, the third seed's through safely to round three. Do stay with us, we'll be bringing you action. Men's singles action next. Li Chong Wei against Kestutas. Nabikas from Lithuania. That's up next. Don't go anywhere. then of our next run of five matches look Li Wong Che up there against Kestutis Nabikas from Lithuania then we've got mixed doubles then another men's singles Hans Christian Batingas the 14th seed doing battle against the Scottish man Merlis and then Carolina Marin the top seed against Ti Ying Yi and then Okuhara of Japan in another women's singles so what an international festival of elite badminton this is this world championships do stay with us this is the next match upcoming the malaysian only the third malaysian world number one the veteran 32 year old lee chong wei will 
be doing battle with the Lithuanian. They'll be entering the court shortly. First, it'll be the court officials. Do stay with us here. Just a look at their draw. Mark Zwiebler, the experienced German, would be, you would imagine, if he comes through his opening wow. round singles, the opponent of the winner of this upcoming match. They love him here. Here he comes. He's a very graceful, humble man, Lee Chong Wei. Met him at breakfast uh, a couple of days ago. Very